Hi, I'm Power Monkey, and if you would like to learn how to make this cool revolving door, well then you're going to want to stay tuned until the end so that you know exactly how I made this revolving door right here. So if you're interested, let's just get right into the video. So the first thing we're going to want to do is that we're going to want to make our revolving door. So we're going to add a model and then we're going to add a part. And then let's go ahead and change this into a cylinder. And then we can rotate it. And then change it like this. And then maybe make it this big. Oh, I'm going to make it even bigger. Okay, it's going to be really big. So, okay, this is going to be our revolving door. Let me just get a rig just to check the size. Yeah, I think this is fine. Okay, so now I'm going to put it up to here because that's how big I want it to be. And then make it like this. And then you're going to want to command D to duplicate. And then I'm going to do this. And then maybe like this. And then you command Shift N to negate the part. And then select this one. So I'm doing Alt and Command to select two parts. And I'm doing Command Shift G to union them. So now we have our glass. So if we change that to glass. And then let's do 0.5 and use part color. You now what, let's do smooth plastic instead. Okay, so now we're going to want to add another part and put it into the model. I'm doing Alt A to anchor it. I'm going to anchor the entire model as well right now. And then let's go ahead and create the hole so that people can walk in and out of the revolving door. Command Shift N to negate the part and then Alt N Command to select the glass and Command Shift G to union it. So there we go. Probably make this 0 0.75, maybe 0 0.6 and you can play around the settings until you are happy with how it looks. And then I'm going to change this to metal so there is going to be our entrance and our exit for the revolving door. So now I'm going to add another part into this model. I'm going to do Alt A to anchor it. And then I'm going to place it in the center. Okay, so then I'm going to resize it like this. I'm going to make it smaller so this is where the door will be. So I'm going to duplicate this part over here, bring it down and then shrink it to have a pole in the middle of this revolving door right here. So just bring it to the floor like this, maybe make it a little bit narrower and then have it like that. Okay, so this is going to be the one of the doors, so you can have two or four doors, however many doors you want. And then I'm going to duplicate it, something like that. And then I'm going to do Command Shift. I'm going to duplicate it first, actually. And then I'm going to Command Shift N. And then Alt and Command select this one. And then Command Shift G to negate it. And then this will be glass. You know what? Let's actually make this bit thicker. So let me just separate this. Do Command Shift N. And then make this a little bit bigger. And then negate it again. Okay, I'll do point one, do something like this, and let's do smooth plastic. All right, and then we can change this to metal or whatever color you want it to be. So maybe we'll do smoky gray and use part color. Or let's actually select a colour ourselves. Maybe something like this. So 
So let's do 0.5 transparency and then let's add another part like this and then change that to metal to zero transparency have something like this maybe I'm going to go ahead and get a dummy just to check the size so this can be like a handlebar or something whatever you want it to be okay so this is going to be one of the doors so I'm going to select all the parts and I'm going to do command G to put them in their own model I'm going to rename this revolving door and then we're going to change this to be called door and then let's go ahead and rename these parts so let's do frame and then glass and then let's just call this frame as well it doesn't really matter what you call them and then let's actually take this bit right here and put it inside the door so take this pole right here and we're just going to call this pole and then we're going to call this glass and this is just the base and this is the top so this is the revolving door so you can go ahead and select all of these and duplicate it if you want to have four doors like this or you can keep it at just one. So now what we're going to want to do is that we're going to want to weld constraint all of these to this pole right here. So let's go back into the model tab and select all the parts here. So I'm, I'm clicking this one and I'm holding shift and clicking the top one to select all the parts in the middle. And then I'm going to go ahead and unanchor these so that the world constraints can actually work. And we're going to go ahead and add world constraints into our pole. We're going to make the part zero as the pole. And then we need one, two, three, four, five, six. So duplicate it five times. Duplicate that. There we go. Now we have six. And then make part one to all of these. All right, now I have welded all the parts to this door. So now we can move on to scripting it. So I'm gonna push this a little back just cause that is how I want it. And then let's go ahead and add a script inside our revolving door. And then let's go ahead and create a variable for this door right here. So let's do local door equals script dot parent and then we can do dot door then we're going to want to do local tween service because we're going to be using the tween service to tween this door right here to make it go round in a circle so that it will run smoothly so let's do game get service and we'll do tween service and then we need to create our tween info so let's do local tween info equals tween info dot new and then how long we want it to take for the tween to execute so I'm going to do six seconds and then the easing style which is going to do linear so enum dot easing style dot linear and then the direction so enum dot easing direction dot in and then and this is how much we want the tween to repeat itself. So if we do minus one, the tween will loop indefinitely until we tell it to stop. But we're never going to tell it to stop, so it will just tween forever. So then, do we want it to reverse? No, we don't. And then, we don't need to worry about this. This is just the delay between it. We're going to do zero seconds. Alright, so we're going to want to create the tween. So we're going to do local called door tween equals tween service and we're going to do create and then we're going to do door for our instance and then we can put our tween info right here so we can do tween info and then we can do our property tables and we're just going to want to change the C frame of the pole so let's go ahead and assign the primary parts of this door 
to the pole so that the script knows what we're changing the C frame of. So we're actually going to do door dot primary part so that the script knows that we want to tween the pole because the pole has all the world constraints to the door parts. So let's actually create a another variable. So we're going to do local CF short for C frame and we're going to do equals door dot primary part and then we're going to do dot C frame. And then we can do C frame equals C frame, this one right here. And then we're going to do multiplied by C frame dot angles zero. And then we'll do math dot rad. And then we're going to do 180. And then we're going to do zero on the z axis. And then we're going to do door tween. And then we're going to do play. And then now. Let's just go ahead and make sure that these parts are anchored. Okay, so let's go ahead and run the game. Right now, the door is tweening in the wrong direction. So let's actually go ahead and change it to zero on this axis. And then let's do Z, let's do 180 on the X axis, see if that works. And there we go. So now we have our revolving door. So what it's doing is that it's tweening the position 180 degrees and then it's starting again and then it's doing 180 degrees, starting again, doing 180 degrees. So we can go ahead and play and then we can actually go inside the revolving door. So let's go ahead and play. And there we go. We are inside our revolving door. So it's pretty cool. So here you can change the speed. So let's do three seconds. So that is going to go twice as fast. So if you see, let's actually load. There we go. It's going a lot quicker. So you can just change this to however you need it to be. Or you can set it to go slowly and maybe do 10 seconds. And let's go ahead and try that. And there we go. And now it's going really slowly. So you can obviously just change this to your preference for your game. So if your door is rotating on the wrong angle, just play around with these angles right here and just ch try changing the axes and then you should be good. So that is it for this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Bye.